So we get to see the plantar reflex, which will be seen during what neurological examination. Plantar reflex during neurological examination in all okay, not really orthopedics only. All right. So plantar reflex simply means when you say plantar, you are looking at what? Under of the foot. Okay. The top of the foot is a dozen. So when you are talking about plantar reflex, you are simply saying if you stroke the down of the foot like this, will the person flex the toes or will they extend the toes? If they flex the toes, what is the meaning? If they extend the toes, what is the meaning? All right, so let's move. Um, stroking the lateral part of the sole of the foot with a fairly sharp object. You see this is a patella hammer. See the person holding the patella hammer here, right? So, so you are stroking what the lateral part of the sole of the foot with a fairly sharp object can produce what? Plantar flexion of the big toe. So when there is flexion, that's a normal way it should be. Okay? But when there is extension, that then is a problem, okay? So often, there is flexion and adduction of the other toes or there will be no movement at all, all right? So this normal response is what is known as what? Flexor plantar reflex. You get? Let me show you guys. When there's a flexion, that's a normal uh, reflex. Do you understand? But if there's an extensor plantar response, that's when there's a problem, okay? So um, forcefully stroking of the toe normally produces flexion of the toes or no response at all, okay? But if there's an extensor response, that means what? The toes are going up, okay? That means the big toe extends while the others remain flexed, okay? It is a characteristic of upper motor disorders. So once that happens, you know that it's an upper motor disorders, right? So this is the Babinski sign. It's a typical of what withdrawal reflex, which is present in young infants and normally disappears after the age of 18 months. So I'm bringing this age here because you shouldn't go and do this in a little child and expect it to be negative. It is usually present in little children, all right? But we are seeing it in an adult, extension, that's an extensor plantar response. You simply know that there's, there's what, an upper motor disorder in that patient, right? So that's it for plantar reflex during neurological examination.